The trio came together. I've known Greg for many years. We were roommates for a while in Brooklyn. I met Rob through Greg, so we just you know, got together and started playing some sessions at Greg's uh, studio and just started getting to know each other more musically. And I just really liked the feeling of what we were doing. What I got from the beginning is just this openness that Kevin and his music have. You know, the boundaries are not clear uh, in a beautiful way. I really love playing his music. The harmony is very detailed, but it always really makes sense and is actually quite playable. Um, but at first glance, it seems like the harmony is going to be very complicated. I decided to name the album North based on my time spent in Harlem, the rich history of that place. And we were sugar, I was living in Sugar Hill and all the great jazz musicians who lived up there and came through there. You know, and it conjures up ideas of finding one's direction on the compass, whether that's personal or spiritual. I love the, the melting pot nature of this trio, and that even though these are instrumental jazz pieces, they have this feel of a song to them so much, the way that it's shaped, the way the band comes in and out. I feel that it tells a story. I do a lot of writing. I brought a lot of those tunes to the guys and we sort of worked out, okay, well this works, this doesn't work. We recorded more material than we really needed and then made it on the record. I basically kind of picked the ones that really spoke to me and that, and that seemed to be working with the band. Well, the music on North has such a strong feel as a whole and then individually the songs each stand on their own. I feel like the, the record shows off all of the different kinds of, of tunes that Kevin can bring to the table. His tunes always really follow a melody and are, are super melodic and even the ones that are very difficult I tend to learn pretty quickly just because they all they have so much logic and structure to them. The cover art comes from a wall that was uncovered when they were putting in a 7-Eleven into the corner of 145th and Frederick Douglass. This paneling was pulled off of a wall up there and, and it revealed all these old jazz posters from the 1950s and 1960s, about a year ago. So I said, this is incredible. People were kind of pulling the billboards off this wall and I was able to snap a few photos with my phone and then we used it on the, on the record. Michael Brorby was the engineer, great engineer. He's got a wonderful studio, and I've done several records there. It's just a really comfortable place to work. The piano's excellent, sight lines are good, and uh, it's just a very relaxed feeling. It was such a beautiful thing that happened in the studio. It felt very strong and, and incredibly fresh, uh, and I hear that on the record. I listen back and, and remember that day and, and how it felt. What I've noticed about Kevin's approach to music is he, uh, he is really um, all about listening. There are times where uh, he's actually said to me, you know, don't bring the music to the gig. I'd rather you get lost than keep your face buried in the music. I think it's uh, Kevin's priority is really the, the trio being in the moment and really listening to each other. I think he really values that more than almost anyone I've ever worked with. At any moment, Kevin might start singing. I just love the chances that he takes and the sounds that are unexpected. I remember him saying that it, it's good when you get lost because it forces you to listen. Uh, we had rehearsed for a bit and then started doing some gigs, a regular gig at the 55 bar. But our first gig was at the Catano uh, in New York. Then we started doing some traveling and uh, we went to Los Angeles and played uh, the Blue Whale there and San Diego, I think it was, and played some other gigs on the road. So things really started to develop. And then we went in the studio and did this record where about half of it I did some singing and it was more electric. And uh, I just decided, okay, well, let's try to do a, an acoustic trio record. This is the result of that. 